Thank you, President, and thank you, Professor de Schruter, for attending today. You are, of course, very welcome. You are no stranger to our work, and I remember your intervention at our group meeting, Group 3, in 2017, when we discussed the SDGs uh, as a new frontier of rights and progress for the EU. You will remember that, indeed, uh, that first item, which is the first SDG, is about eradicating poverty. But we are still today speaking about the same topic. And we now know with the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, that there is an increase in global poverty, as you so rightly point out. I think the first time that there is a real increase in 30 years, uh, at least 8% of total human population now living in poverty. And this pandemic has hit the most vulnerable groups in our societies. It is on this point that I really do welcome your thoughts uh, that you will present uh, to the Commission today, particularly on the Stability Pact, uh, the universal income, and indeed uh, assistance to recognize that we have a serious health situation, which really and truly uh, goes to the fundamental a part of our vulnerable societies. For these reasons, our group will concentrate its work program on poverty and the role of CSOs, civil society organizations, in combating it. So we have planned to approach this subject from the broader context of the, not just the impact on COVID-19 on our lives, but the impacts that will last for quite a long time. Remember, this generation now experiencing this, this is the second time we had the financial recession only a few years ago, where careers were interrupted and stopped, where businesses uh, found themselves in difficulty, and many have not recovered. So in the second time in a generation, we find ourselves once again dealing with a massive universal interruption in our work. I would like to make two points. The first relates to the pivotal role played by civil society organizations during this pandemic. They have played a fantastic part in helping and alleviating the most vulnerable groups in our society, ensuring services that they were denied or weren't able to access because of isolation could be given. That continues even today. So within our group, our objective for the next, the second point I would make is that we need to relate uh, to the irrefutable links between the increase in poverty and the erosion of rights. Rights have been affected. Many we have accepted on the basis that this is the right approach. But we have to ask the question, is this long term or is this going to be uh, looked at in the aftermath? We also must look at the situation regarding digital poverty. Many of our work situations now depend on good digital ability to work. And this has the unfortunate uh, result of separating even those on the poorer level from the well-off. By way of conclusion, I will, can only hope that the positive legacies from this health crisis, as you have said, some of those in terms of the speed in which the EU have, have, me, have meant in terms of bringing help and assistance to communities. The speed of governments in reacting. There will be criticisms at certain times that they haven't reacted fast enough. Now the challenge is, will they speedily learn the legacies of this and make sure that this occasion, we will have risen and it will have been worth it, and in future pandemics, that we will be ready for them. Once again, I thank you for your attendance today and wish you really well in, in your work.